Hello. What I'm going to do today is do something like uh, what I did in my Back on the Trail mod, where you speak to the character, he says, come and speak to me again tomorrow, and then you wait till the next day, and then it's tomorrow. So, first of all, I'm going to create an NPC to be the one who speaks. Just give me the ID, my NPC, and give him a name, NPC, and bail like that. Uh, I'll make him a voice type. I mean, it probably isn't completely necessary, but... Because I'm not going to be recording any dialogue, but I may as well do everything just to demonstrate. In case you don't know how to do dialogue for some reason. My NPC. And voice type. I call it NPC voice. So he's all set up. I'm not going to change what he looks like or anything, because it's not really necessary. So let's begin. Make a quest. So quest name, give it a name and give it a unique ID. My quest. Priority 55 and I'm gonna start this game enabled. So we start so quests what we'll do is um go to quest stages and I'll create a stage. Ten. And right click new in the log entry. And now I'm gonna do the result script. I hate writing these result scripts in the New Vegas gek, because if I make a mistake it won't tell me and just delete the script. So what I'm gonna do is set Objective displayed my quest, which is the idea of a quest, 10, which is the stage I want displayed, and 1. I'll click off it. Oh, yes, it saved it first time. So, what this will do is when stage 10 is set, the objective for my quest stage 10 will appear. So, now I'm going to do a quest objective, and in index, I'm going to put 10. And we're going to put come back tomorrow. Now that will be used later. And now I'm going to do another stage 20. It's tomorrow. Go to quest stages again. And do 20. And right click new. Set objective completed my quest. 10, 1. Yes, works first time. Now I'm going to copy over this so I don't have to type it out again and maybe mess it up. But I'm going to change where I put 10 to 20. So when stage 20 is enabled, it will set the objective for stage 10 to be completed, which is the objective we had here, and it will display 20. And the quest objectives are defined here, so this is what will appear. Come back tomorrow, and it's tomorrow. So now what I'm going to do is set up the topics to trigger those stages. So at the moment I've just got the stages that do nothing. So I'll make a greeting. I'll make a new greeting. Come come back tomorrow and we'll do this thing. And so now we're going to condition it so that only your NPC says it. Get his ID. And this is the ID of the NPC we defined before. Now again, I'm assuming you have an NPC in mind for the one you want, but I just created one for the purposes of this tutorial. And we're going to hit goodbye. So what this will mean is, you know, when you speak to an NPC and it doesn't enter conversation, it just comes up, he just speaks, he says, Oh, just all him a heart, he sure makes you wish for a nuclear winter. That's what this will be like. It'll just come up and he'll just say, it won't enter um, speech, because I've checked goodbye. He'll just say, come back tomorrow and we'll do this thing. So we're now set stage my quest 10 compile result so we're only going to want to say this when the stages are below 20 so I'm going to go for get stage my quest I'm going to change this to less than 20 now when, so when the stage is 0 i.e. when the quest hasn't been triggered yet <coughs> he'll say this and when the stage is 10 i.e. when the quest hasn't been triggered yet, he'll do he'll say this. Well the quest will be triggered at stage ten. It'll but it'll say um as we've done before, come back tomorrow. So now I'm gonna make my second topic, which is where he starts to speak. Looks like it's tomorrow. We can get this thing done. So I'm just gonna copy all these conditions and paste them in, but this time I'm going to set it so this is only said equals 20. 
So what's going to happen here is when stage 20 is set, he will say this line instead of this line. And from there, you can set up all the rest of your dialogue. But I'm not going to do in this tutorial, but I have several dialogue tutorials and just a general one for quests. So now, what we're going to want to do is make a script for this quest. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, SCN. And just give this. This is just the name of the quest. So as long as it's unique, it'll be okay. So now we're going to create a variable. This is a lot like what we did in the getting something to happen daily. I'm just creating a new variable. It can be called anything, but I'm calling it today for ease of ease. So I'm going to go begin game mode, not mid. If today doesn't equal game day set stage um my quest 20 and I should probably put another condition in here because otherwise this is going to start straight away so if get stage my quest equals 10 actually I'll swap these around So it comes in that order. And ig, no. End. Okay. And I'm going to set this to be a quest script. So what will happen is this this variable today, I haven't set it to anything yet, but I will do it um in a sec. So what's gonna happen is if the stage is ten and if the variable for the day doesn't equal game day, it will set stage 20. So basically when it's tomorrow, but at the moment I haven't set today to be anything yet. It worked first time, I always love it when it works first time. So now we're going to have to look for the script that we just wrote. So my quest script. And we'll go back to topics. Come back tomorrow and we'll do this thing. So I'll add another uh, line into the result script, because now we can. So set my quest dot today to game day and it worked excellent so what that means is the variable today which is a variable that belongs to the quest my quest will be set to whatever day it is so if the day happens to be Tuesday today will be set to Tuesday and stage 10 has now been set so now if we go back to the quest now that we know that the variable today has been set to being Tuesday by speaking to the guy and stage 10 has been set this script will now have an effect so if get stage 10, which it is stage 10, and if today doesn't equal game day, so i.e. if it were Tuesday and it had now rolled over to Wednesday, it would set stage 20, meaning this section would no longer run, so the script won't just run out of control and just run on and on and on forever. And now, as we go back and we'll see here, this will run when it equals 20. This will run when it's below 20. So now instead of saying come back tomorrow and we'll do this thing, he will say, looks like it's tomorrow, we can get this thing done. Because I haven't checked this goodbye, dialogue will start. And assuming you've put topics and choices in, dialogue will continue. If you don't put anything in these choices or in these topics, he will zoom in, say, um, looks like it's tomorrow, and then he'll zoom out and you won't be able to say anything to him. Uh, likewise, if you've put unreachable conditions in any of these topics or choices that you link to. But again, you'll see my if you go to my dialogue tutorial you'll be able to sort that out but I'm assuming you have the basic knowledge of questing and dialoguing I was just doing this tutorial because I thought it was a cool trick um, it would be nice to show people I guess so hopefully that's uh, clear and I haven't messed anything up or forgotten what I was supposed to be doing uh, so thank you for watching and goodbye Oh, are you kidding me? Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to have something happen. You press F9 instead of F10. You oh, God, I fucked myself there.